22 suspects wanted for sexual assault have been arrested by the San Jose Police Department. They were wanted on warrants for various assaults, some of them going back years. Our crime reporter Henry Lee joining us now live from the newsroom with the latest on these arrests. Henry. Alex, each year, San Jose police open up their files looking for sexual assault suspects who haven't been arrested to face charges. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and police say these arrests are a way to help survivors find some sense of closure. Nearly two dozen suspects wanted for sexual assault were arrested by San Jose police. The suspects were named in warrants for assaults, some dating back to 2012. Those in custody range in age from 25 to 73. Took into custody 22 individuals who are wanted for various sexual assault crimes from misdemeanor sexual assault all the way to felony sexual assault of minors and rape. San Jose Police Officer Steve Aponte says the arrests were made in March and a part of an annual sweep by a number of different units within the department. To take those into custody who have been absconding from justice, not only locally here in the city of San Jose, but also externally in other states. Three suspects were arrested outside San Jose, including two in Arizona. The oldest suspect is 73-year-old Antonio Sacariz, who worked as a massage therapist out of his home and is accused of sexually assaulting at least two clients. One of the suspects is a woman. 42-year-old Desiree Barron was charged by the Santa Clara DA with lewd acts with a boy back in 2018 and 2019. The child in this case, uh, unfortunately, was between the ages of three uh, to five. Santa Clara County Prosecutor Tim McInerney handles sexual assault cases. If you have committed those crimes in Santa Clara County, and you have a warrant out for, arrest, for your arrest, we're coming for you. The announcement of the arrests coincides with April being Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Officers wear teal ribbons to raise awareness and support for survivors. We're securing and enforcing that people who have committed these crimes are now behind bars, and it's the first step towards giving those survivors a bit of hope and understanding and closure to their cases. San Jose police say they've released photos of these suspects in hopes of encouraging other potential survivors of sexual assaults to come forward. Now, I've posted these photos on my Twitter feed. Live in the newsroom, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And quickly, Henry, do, do we know if there are, were any uh, sexual assault suspects who police were, were looking for but were unable to find? They didn't say anything about that, but suffice to say that this is an ongoing process, and unfortunately, new cases pop up, and they'll be working to get those people in custody as well. Yeah, I'm sure they will be. Henry Lee, live in the newsroom. Thank you, Henry.